like that. Maybe you've got a point. I should slow down and think a little. What's wrong? <sighs> You're not the real Kisaragi. You're just some ghost of her in my brain. What are you talking about? Is your head okay? Did you eat something bad? Don't even talk to me. What's wrong? I didn't... I didn't cross a line, did I? Fuyusaka, where'd Okino go? Okino? Who's that? <sighs> Fancy I meeting you here. I said he was gonna fix it. Guess this Eora, is what he your meant. place isn't this way, right? <laughs> where are you going? I've just got. Karabe. Hey, it's you. If I remember right, you don't take the train to school, do ya? Guess I don't, but who cares? I can still take the train if I want. It's not a crime. So, you got a key on you? What kind of key? The key to summon the kaiju. Summoning kaiju, huh? What? That weird? I don't really have time to indulge those childish fantasies. Now that's weird. Last I heard, you were way into that shit. <laughs> well, what a shame. Looks like my train's here. Which means this conversation is over. Hey, that's the wrong train! So you followed me. Why'd you run? Huh? You're on the wrong train, Nenji Ogata. It doesn't matter which one I take. Same damn thing happens anyway. I always get taken out by the kaiju. Yeah, that about sums it up. just embarrassing. I really need to hide my tracks better. I've been getting sloppy. Never figured you'd come looking to take it back. Who the hell are you? Uh, he disappeared. Uh, that's Minami behind you. And look what she's got. I don't know how I know, but... That's the key. Gotta be. Do you know anything about what kind of code this is? Do you even know what you've been looking for? I know the key's a program that controls the kaiju. And now I know Natsu no Minami's got it. If you know that... And why are you on their side? You think you know what they're gonna do with it? They can't save anyone. Don't trust them. You know what they'll do to her. Do you have any idea what Natsuno Minami will go through? What, like I'm supposed to trust you instead? I don't even know who you are. I'm Juro Izumi. A version of Juro Kurabe from another world. What the hell? I've come to save you. That's why I'm here. To protect her control key. Fine. Trust me or don't. I don't care. Just forget about finding the key. I can't do that. 
That key's gonna destroy the world, right? If you let me handle this, you won't regret it. But if they found out that Natsuno Minami has the key, you think they'd be nice about getting it out of her? Got a point. These sickos already kidnapped me and messed with my brain. Minami might end up the same way. They might break her. Leave her like Ryoko Shinonome. Or they might just kill her. She's a pawn in their game. Just another sacrifice. Think this through. Yeah. Bad news, Juro. Let me guess. Amiguchi-kun's not there. I think he's at the break area. Thanks for making my life easier, time. man. Cool. Let's grab our stuff and head over. Kaiju Daimos? They're showing it at the theater right now. Want to go see it? Isn't that the crappy old theater by Tsutsuji Station? I'd rather rent it on video. Then we can watch it on Amiguchi's big TV. Cheaper, too. Usami-chan, you seem acting strange lately. Are you okay? Okay. You it's not the one you were looking for, but... <laughs> but you're just I found fine, a little right? something else you've been hey, wanting to see. I'm worried about you. know, that hardcore foreign Yuri movie? Chan. Don't make it sound so creepy. It's so just a sci-fi flick. Sorry. I also picked the next episode plans. of that drama series. You too? The one where the alien runs away to Earth. Hmm. Is that the one where he teleports from the UFO to the bridge? 
Oh, you've seen it already? I don't really remember watching it, but... I don't know. Maybe I did. Crap. I gotta get going. While I was taping that show, I remembered something else. I, I totally have forgot to. last week. See you, Miwa chan They were airing Later. UFO Wars on Bye. TV. I can't believe I missed it. I guess it's about that time. Something up? You're staring. Well, maybe not here. Let's go oh. out to the hall. Please, Sokka's avoiding you. Did you look up her skirt or something? No. What kind of kai do you think I am? I'm just saying. It is weird, though. I wonder why she's acting that way. Sorry, shiba -kun. I have to drop off these papers. Again? Jeez. Well, just meet me at the front gate when you're done. In the meantime, I'll go hunt down Amiguchi. Karabi-kun, over here. What's going on, Fuyusaka-san? Well, um... You know that dream you were telling me about? The truth is, it's real. It actually happened. What do you mean? What was that dream about again? Uh, you don't remember? You just mentioned it again last week. You know, the one about the shootout? Shootout? Something about taking refuge in a harbor. But you ended up getting shot and captured. I was the only one who managed to escape. Oh, yeah. In order to prevent killer robots from being invented, a factory got blown up, right? You remember now? I didn't know you were into action movies. That's the plot of Exterminator 2, right? <laughs> I almost forgot. <sighs> so you don't remember after all? Of course I do. That movie is a masterpiece. I'm not talking about a movie. This is something that actually happened. And it wasn't just a dream, either. Does that mean UFO Wars is real, too? There is a UFO. It's beneath us. Oh. No way. It's just like the movie, isn't it? We're going to ride that UFO and fight off enemies. No. That's what the Sentinels are for. Sentinels? Giant robots. They were created to defeat the Kaiju. <sighs> what about this one? Is it real too? If the Daimo showed up in real life? I don't know. I think it'd be pretty awesome. Well, lucky you. You'll be seeing plenty of them soon. Huh? Daimos is the general name for them. But there are many different types. Some as big as a truck. Some bigger than a whole building. That series is really cool. It featured all kinds of different kaiju. If you love movies that much, you should check out this drama series. What's it about? It's an episodic show where the story plays out in different ways each time. In this one, an alien seeks refuge on Earth. There's a famous scene where he teleports onto a bridge. 
You've never seen it before? That was a real event. It took place on Sumire Bridge in the year 2089. Now that you mention it, that scene did look like it was shot at Sumire Bridge. I was the only one there. You never made it, Kurabe-kun. No, that's not true. I was there. You and I were transmitted together. Wait, what? You're so interesting, Fuyusaka-san. Don't you already know all this? You're the one who told me about it. Remember when we were cleaning up the science room? You said you saw a shootout from the future in your dreams. Cleaning up the science room? Uh. Never mind. Sorry to bother you. Now that I think about it... I've handed you the key. Be sure not to misplace it. Renya Goto, second year. Popular with all the ladies. <laughs> A snob. When you're done cleaning, be sure to lock up. Then return the key to Miss Morimura. Understood? Yes. Then if you'll excuse me. Sorry for the trouble. Goto-senpai is so mature. It's hard to believe he's just a high schooler like me. Okay, there's not much left to do. Let's get this over with. I'll wash the equipment over there. Did you put the beakers back on the shelf? I'm hungry, man. Cleaning duty sucks ass. Sheba Kuhn. Stop complaining and get to work. Did you say something? You were mumbling. Speak clearly, please. Just... It's Saturday. Kinda sucks to be doing cleaning duty. Rules are rules. Just deal with it, okay? Goto-senpai responsible? No wonder he's so popular. Where should I put this? Beakers go in the big cabinet in the back. Guess it goes in here. This one too. That's all of them. Let's just go home and let Fuyusaka do it. Finish with the beakers? <laughs> all Stop getting around. Is sweeping up. <sighs> what is it? <sighs> What's gotten into you? Is there something on my face? Sorry. I was just thinking about the woman from my dream last night. I think it was you, Fuyusaka-san. Me? In your dream? You were dressed in all black. Strong, commanding, and honestly, pretty attractive. Uh, <laughs> you're just talking about the dream, right? What happened in it? It's kind of embarrassing to talk about. The apocalypse was coming. To prevent it, we had to go back in time and blow up some sort of facility. But that got us in some trouble. Thanks to the bombing, the cops came after us. It came down to a shootout, and the two of us got separated. Oh, so I was a criminal. Well, kind of. It was a just cause. Uh-huh. Well, that does sound exciting. I'm curious to hear how it ends. Oh, yeah? 
I can keep going. Were you shot? Show me. It's nothing. I had a misstep too. I failed to kill one of the researchers. The deed is done, though. The entire facility's been destroyed. We did good. The Interstellar Development Project was sent back to square one. Do you think we've changed the future? Sure hope so. If not, then we'll have killed all those innocents for nothing. I'd like to believe they haven't died in vain. Patrol boat. They're onto us. I'll handle this. You go on ahead. This wasn't part of the plan. I can barely walk. So what? You want me to abandon you here? You just need to make it through today. Remember? Miwako? Usami-chan! This is bad! What's up? What happened? Shinonome-senpai! She's gone! What? I only looked away for a second! What should we do, Usami-chan? What should we do? Usami-chan! How far could she be? She wasn't exactly in a state to be running any marathons. We need to find her. She might still be nearby. Let's split up and look around. Got it. Okay. I'll go check across the street. Thanks. She went off to the shopping district. far.
Shikishima's a conglomerate with political ties. They made it big during the Meiji modernization. You always see their branches on Employer of the Year lists. Back in the Meiji era, they were shipbuilders. But they expanded into aviation and a bunch of other things. During the war, they did a lot of weapons R&D. And now, they make everything from home appliances to rockets. Shikishima Industries is just one of those branches. Their machinery is known all over the world. What about the Sentinel we saw? Maybe she went over there. Big guy did stand out. You wanna go? Miwako? Wait here. Be careful. We'll be back in a jiffy. Why here? I figured... If Senpai's trying to get to the school... She'd probably come this way. Oh, right. She wouldn't know about the messed up road. Sentinel, huh? Did you find footprints? <sighs> Thought I had something. Nope. Anyway, we need to find a lead. those things in the far-off future Shikishima planned to colonize other planets and the kaiju were tools for terraforming the surface what are they doing here in the past no we need to explore more thoroughly Anything? Hate to break it to you, but I don't think she's come by here. Any more is a waste of time. Let's go back, Kisaragi. Shinonome-senpai. Less thinking, more walking. Let's go, Kisaragi. Osami-chan. Did Senpai come back? Did you see her? Nope. There's no sign of her anywhere. Let's try checking the school. Senpai might have had the same thought. Let's do it. It's all the way around the bend. Miwako, wait here. Be careful. We'll be back in a jiffy. totally caved in. Oh, look at that. Over in the pit. That another construction machine? I bet that's what dug the hole.
the point? They trying to make a nest or something? That thing's a construction machine for developing planets, right? Would it dig up a hole for no reason? Maybe there's something down there. Underground. Like what? More dirt? I'm just saying. Well, so much for this place. There's not a single person here. Let's keep looking around. <sighs> Speak of the devil. Shinonome Senpai. Hey, wait! That can't be good. It's that android from before. Is it broken? There's our answer. Uh. Run! Uh. We're surrounded! Serves you right. The name's Seki Gahara. You're Tomi Kisaragi, right? Didn't know any of you were left. Oh! Shinonome-senpai is... Well, she was there. Dude, it was just a second ago! I guess she ran away from the androids. So Ryoko-san's here, too. Are you with Morimura? Maybe. I mean, you've got to be from the future, right? Yes. Quite a ways away. Now listen here. How do you know Kisaragi? That's... A drone. It's a probe that found you two on its patrol. To think you were still here. I honestly didn't expect it. So it told you about us. Sorry you got caught up in this mess. In any case, you need to go to the underground gate. I'll take you there. All the gates above ground are locked. I've been struggling to find my way out of here. You too? We need to go underground. The primary shifter should be there. The other gates all connect to that one from afar. They're merely access points. Underground? You mean... Down there? That's where we need to go? Correct.
course. Easy, take your time. Do you know where you are? It wasn't a dream. Morimura. She's been modifying personalities with nano machines. She wants to change both me and Iori Fuyusaka into different people. I can't believe what Morimura says. Shilamiguchi. Number 14. Number 14 is my sentinel. Run away? Why do I need to run? Eiseki Gahara. Eikun is a year younger than me. And a childhood friend. How could I think he was the culprit? Fuyusaka and Kitya- The coordinates for shifting through time. There's- These pills are hard to swallow, but it's the only way these headaches will go away. If Eiseki Gahara isn't 426, then who's the one that messed with the Sentinels? like that my job is to help you doesn't seem likely why don't you tell me what you've gathered so far so I can better assist you what are you staring at me for you probably think I look awful that is true those injured frail arms to think they could produce such raw power it's hard to comprehend. You saw that? The last battle. I was assisting Miss Morimura. Now what? Yakushiji-san, can I talk to you? <laughs> My head... It hurts. This should make me feel a little better. Megumi... I guess there's really nothing you can do about it. Do about what? You know, your... Condition. Look, it's Goto Senpai. Oh, it is. Uh, student Council. He's running for really. That's amazing. He's a Miku. Smart You're right. and handsome. I'm relieved. Everything a girl could want. <sighs> Not again, Senpai. What? I've already asked you to stop making fun of me. I'm Kurabe. Juro Kurabe. Goto Senpai. Apologies, Kurabe. You can go ahead. 
Jiro Karabe? Explain. You have the wrong person. That's not possible. I wouldn't mistake him for someone else. There are certain things you're better off not knowing. Damn it, just tell me. Juro Izumi doesn't exist anymore. He's Juro Karabe now. His mind could not withstand the battle. He had to be turned into someone else. There is no chance of recovery. as I do. them for now. I have to consider my next moves carefully. The note says 443-685-3214. What could it mean? A password of some sort?
Could it be a phone number? facility in the future. The android was using it. She seems to have a particular fondness for me. It appears she confessed her feelings to me, and I have yet to give her an answer. What was I going to do? Chihiro Morimura's objective, one with great implications, especially for those from another world, like me. If Operation Aegis succeeds, We'll never be able to leave this world. But that must be it. That must be why I killed her. Ryoko Shinonome. Let's see. Attempting to delay nanomachine separation in the brain. Applying memory link enhancement. C0204 and C22. So there are two types of pills, then. C0204 is the same one I have. It's been over a week since she last received a dose. I wonder how she's doing. Without the pills, her memory must also be suffering. Shu Amiguchi. He was administered NM-A8076. Looks like a different kind of nanomachine medication. Seems it was only administered once. All it says is 20% transplant rate. Juro Izumi. He's receiving two types of treatment. NMA8075 and B01. He received four doses of A8075. Then switched to B01 from the fifth dose on. There's a scribbled note here. B-01 was synthesized by Tamao Kurabe. Found at the nurse's office where Chihiro Morimura worked. The label matches the one on the bottle I had. Oral NM, C-0204. DD-426. Likely the root of my memory loss. But who would create such a thing? And why? Come in. Are you there? Uh. Don't be a fool. and braids. I know you can hear me, she created NMC0204, the same pills I take. I saw her at the school. Now pick up. But what business would an android have there? Besides, there was something different about her then. Don't be afraid. Don't be a fool. found your way onto school grounds. Unless you want to get caught, you shouldn't wander about. <sighs> what business did you have there? I wanted to learn more about the person I killed. Forgive me. I should have been transparent from the start. Did you see anyone else there? Did anyone see you? No. I trust you. Partners don't lie to each other, after all. Partners? Us? You really don't remember. You and I are working together to save everyone. Everyone? Even the one I murdered? That was a necessary action to prevent Operation Aegis. 
No one else has figured out the truth yet. Those who came from other sectors have been deceived. And Morimura was the one behind it. There's no coming back after total annihilation. And that was reason enough. It's why you agreed to take the job. What job? You were tasked with retrieving information. It was to be extracted from a certain data unit. But circumstances have changed. That unit may jeopardize our escape. You must destroy it. It's likely hidden somewhere at Sakura High School. And it may be accompanied by another student. Seek out Natsuno Minami in Class 1C. Is that an order? Not at all. I'm merely presenting options. The situation must be dealt with one way or another. If we don't, there's no turning back. circumstances in this world and he knows about my memory loss too should I have gotten more information out of him it's basically the nano machine equivalent of a virus program except it causes brain damage the infected will ultimately lose their memories or end up as husks of themselves it's likely the cause of my memory loss Natsuno Minami. All I was told about her was her name and class number. She may be in the possession of that data unit. If not, she'll know where it is. <clears throat> I don't trust him, but for now I have to cooperate. It's my only shot at recovering my memories. Tomorrow, once classes are over, I'll pay a visit to the school. for someone? Miwako and the others? No. Someone else? Ah, okay. Well, I'll see you later. Okay, see you. Hey, Ikun. Were you waiting for me? Mm-hmm. I was hoping you'd show up. Is everything okay? <sighs> I believe I owe you an apology. <sighs> uh, I see. Guess I'm not your... I... lost my memories. Huh? Yesterday, I only pretended to know who you were. What? But there's a reason I wasn't honest. I still don't know who my enemies are. I can trust you, right? Seriously? Of course you can. Then I'm going to need your help. I'm happy to help. But I'm not happy you lied to me. Why didn't you tell me sooner? I'm sorry. I never said anything to you about them, did I? About my memories, I mean. Nope. You tend to pop up out of nowhere when I do see you. And when you do, you never really stick around long. <sighs> Although... The last time I saw you, you had this look in your eyes. Like you really had something to say. Maybe you were planning on telling me then. Do you know a first year by the name of Natsuno Minami? Nachan? Yeah, she was just here. 
She's the one I was talking to before you showed up. Oh. That girl in gym clothes. She's probably gone by now. Do you know Nacha? No, not at all. Have you ever seen this note before? Hmm. I don't think so. Yori-chan! Oh, hey, Miwa-chan. Miwa-chan? So, are things going well with you two? Oh, well, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> so, did you get to first? Huh? No, oh, you didn't go to second, did you? Already, Yuri-chan? You move fast! Are you done? <gasps> Sorry, I'm doing it again, aren't I? Classic Miwa-chan. Well, anyway, just keep at it. Uh, thanks. What are you holding, by the way? Oh, this? I'm trying to figure out what these numbers mean. Let's see here. Hmm. Oh, I think I know what these are for. You know what these numbers mean? Y yes I think so. Please, tell me. They're for the telephone message service, I think. It just started last month. Oh, where you can leave messages over the phone? Mm-hmm. My mom uses it. Whenever she works late, she leaves me a message. Uh, why don't I get out of your hair? You got this, Yoi-chan. Wait, Miwa-chan! A message service, huh? Later for you, Sakasan. Oh, Karabe-kun. See you later. That's Juro Izumi. Yakushiji. <laughs> He's the one receiving nanomachine treatment. And she's the one who aimed a gun at my head. She's definitely up to something. Hey, Ekun. Where are you going? There's something I need to do. <sighs> Could she be connected to the ones chasing after me? Guess there's only one way to find out. It says Kurabe on the nameplate. Do they both live here together? The table's set for three. Miyurku? Dinner's already. <gasps> so we meet again. <sighs> it's easy when you're the one holding the gun, isn't it? But not so much when you're staring down the barrel. Now tell me. You said that I asked you to shoot me. What did you mean by that? That's just what I was told. Who ordered you to shoot me? Tell me everything you know. I... Stop! No, wait! You shouldn't startle me like that. Unless you want to die, that is. Juro! Just who do you think you are? You can't barge into someone's house without permission. I remember you. You're the one who shot that robot at Tokisaka Shrine. This is between me and her. Stay out of this, Juro Izumi. Izumi? You've got it all wrong. I'm Juro Kurabe. Whoever you are, get out of my way. He's not dead. I only stunned him. I still want an explanation. Why don't you just ask for yourself? 
the brains behind the whole thing is sitting on the TV. The TV? Well, I guess we're doing this whole thing now. A cat? No way. You are not a talking cat. There must be some trick to it. The only trick here is my unrivaled genius. Cats aren't stupid, unlike humans. Especially you. You tried to ditch your sentinel. You thought you could escape the game? <laughs> game? Are you talking about the fight against the kaiju? Sure am. All you could ever think about was running away. But it looks like you came around eventually. I'm guessing you learned some new information. New information? Yeah, you know. The unshakable truth. That's why you came crawling back. And begged me to put you back in the game. I did? The gun she aimed at you is a nanomachine injector. Anyway, as promised, I'll let you back onto the battlefield. When you say all I could think of was running away, do you mean I was trying to escape from this world? Hm. Who knows? Then what did you mean by new information? Man, you really don't remember a thing, do you? You can always ask, you know. Maybe the guy behind you knows something. Just, just what the hell do you think you're doing? Miyurakun. Sekigahara? Miura? Uh, did you say... Miura? Updating the data for Sentinel number 17 as well? For all third generation Sentinels, actually. Tomosan. Just know, I don't intend to report what you told me. However, I suggest you stop poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Afraid I can't do that. Now, I need a favor from you. If anything happens to me, I want you to keep my line open. Uh, fine. Hey, Miura. I saw Tamal Karabe at the Sentinel number 18 lift, too. Who is she? Is she also from the future? She's Sentinel number 18's pilot. But I thought... Only A.I. could operate Sentinel number 18. I noticed you didn't refer to me by number. You used my real name. Well, you did say you were a human once. So you believe me? Listen, Sekigahara. I have some matters to discuss with you. You got awfully serious. What is it? Let's talk face to face. Raise the lift so no one else can disturb us. That's good. I've got the perfect view of your face from up here. Quite imposing. Anyway, what is it? Remember the conversation about the mainframe? That's the computer in the underground UFO, right? Right. It turns out it was created in the year 2188. That's even further in the future than Ida and the others. I'm positive that's the era they come from. I spent a lot of time analyzing the mainframe's data. 
That's when I found a massive report on this so-called 2188. I've only managed to decode a portion of it so far. Once I'm done, we'll find out what set this all into motion. Who knows? We might even find a way to save the world. Really? Now, on to the real issue. The data on the mainframe has been quarantined. Someone made it inaccessible. I'm positive Chihiro Morimura was the one who did it. Morimura? If I had to guess, there are some things she didn't want us to find out. I thought she came here to help save this world. It definitely seemed that way. But as it turns out, she has ulterior motives. There has to be a way for you to access it. I've tried everything. It's impossible. So there's nothing we can do? <sighs> I'm going to let you in on something. Something even Tamao-san doesn't know about. There's one more data log. The one I copied to my brain. So you created a backup. And it's stored in the memory of Sentinel number 17? That's right. But if Morimura finds it, I know she'll erase it. You think? She probably isn't the only one who wants it erased. That's why I'm asking for your help. If this Sentinel suffers extensive damage, please recover the memory block at all costs. When that time comes, I'll be counting on you. I won't let you down. By the way, what brought you here in the first place? Oh. Well, I came to update your system. It won't take long. Sekigahara. Yeah? We're friends, right? <sighs> Miura. Of course we are. Juro, I won't let you get away this time. It's you. Well, the you of 16 years ago. You're not aware of what happened, are you? That's disappointing. <laughs> what happened? You and I were in love. Hand in hand, we struggled to save the world. That... It was all for naught. Not entirely. We did find the truth. This is but one small part of a massive operation. Even if I tried to explain it, it would be lost on you now. The plan needs to be revised. Please, you must let me go. Do you mean to say you'll be taking even more lives? You've already killed the four that came with you. You misunderstand. I backed up my data on Sector Zero before the final battle. That was all I could do. I'm not aware of what happened to the others. That's not what Ida-kun said. That guy... 
I can't trust a word you say. The 25-year-old Morimura felt quite differently. You said you'd loved me since the day we met. I can't imagine that's changed. Please, open the way. I can't. in my dreams. You were absent the other day. Did something happen? Oh. Um, well... I had a stomach ache, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm fine now. I see. Hi, Usami-chan. Welcome back to the land of the living. Gotta say, sleeping as much as you do is a real talent. <laughs> Nenji-kun was absent too, the very same day as you. Could it be? What? Stop jumping to conclusions. I'm just kidding. I already talked to him. He went on a trip that day. A trip, huh? How are you doing, Miwako? Me? I'm just fine. Well, okay. That's good. 2089. That's what year it was in my dream. He said he'd gone back in time 16 years to find me. If that was a real premonition, something's gonna happen in the year 2105. That's 120 years from now. A giant UFO buried underground. Was it a premonition? <laughs> That's crazy. Maybe Natchan's getting to my head. Once she starts talking about UFOs, you'll never hear the end of it. Gotta love her, though. You were absent the other day. Oh, wait. The science room. The door's always locked. How do I get back in? Did something happen? Oh. Um. Kurabi-kun. He looks a bit like the man in my dream. And I called that man... Juro. It was him, right? It had to be. I know it's just a dream, but... I shot him point blank. Feels kinda weird to talk to him now. I had a stomach ache, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm fine now. I see. Hey, you saw me, Ken. <sighs> it's my turn to clean up the science room. Sorry, dude. That one's a real pain. Eh, whatever. Maybe the other helper's a cute girl. Let's see. Oh, it's Sawatari. Lucky you. Is she your type? Eh, I don't know, man. Maybe that's my key to the science room. Miwa-chan! Nenji-kun was absent, too. The very same day as you. Hey, Miwa-chan. It's your turn to clean up the science room, right? Uh-huh. I have a favor to ask. I don't know what you're planning on doing. But be safe, okay? Chemicals are dangerous. Relax, it's nothing like that. I'll be sure to lock up when I'm done. Don't worry. Okay. I'll take the trash out now. Do what you need to. 
Thanks, Miwa-chan. All right. Last time... Stuff started popping up right about here. <sighs> there has to be something. <sighs> Come on. Anything? Everything's normal. my dream. are analyzing the UFO. We must have brought them here. Just like in the dream. Do I hear footsteps? Someone's coming. Oh no. What if it's an alien? I need to hide. He's still after me. Is that Shinonome-senpai? No good. It's not moving. 426 must have shot it. There's no choice. I must retreat for now. Why must you keep running from me? I'm... Stop. <sighs> 426. You won't get away with this. That again? Give it a rest. There's not much time left. Come with me. I'll protect you. Please, Ryoko. Don't... Stop trying to confuse me. No way. Just when I thought we could meet again, he's in love with someone else. Who's there? Iori Fuyusaka. Are you alone? What are you doing here? Well, um... I wanted to see if this was all just a dream. And... I guess it was. 
Uh, in any case, you shouldn't be here. Go back to your sector. Guess I'll send you myself. these days. Hey, Juro. Let's go home. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. In that movie, an alien's yet. UFO breaks down. So he runs away to take refuge on Earth. <laughs> There's a famous scene where he teleports onto a bridge. Come to think of it, I saw shiba -kun in a dream the other day. A pretty creepy one. Something about an android. That dream was off. Like, if the... In my dream, a woman and I went back in time to prevent the extinction of humanity. To do that, we had to blow up some sort of research facility. And, well, we did it. And if that weren't enough, we shot the researchers dead. The woman I was with in that dream looked eerily similar to Fuyasaka-san. Let's go! Hey, don't you want to go to Amiguchi-kun's place? You didn't bring it up today. Well, I beat the game, so... Now we can hang out, you and me. Where do you want to go? Do you think that one video is still available for rent? Probably. Want to go check? Okay, cool. Don't forget your bag. Hopefully no one's checked it out yet. <sighs> We're out of luck, man. Video store's closed. By the looks of it, I don't think it'll be reopening anytime soon. The windows were completely shattered. It must have been part of that big gas explosion. Oh, I saw that on TV. That was our video store? So what do we do? Just go home disappointed? You don't have much of a choice. There was a gas leak in the shopping district. The explosion damaged buildings and shattered windows. I heard about it on the 7 a.m. news. Oh, Mirakun. What are you doing here? I followed you after school. Is something wrong? Tell me the truth, please. Huh. You don't need to play innocent. You are a Sentinel pilot. How did you activate it? Sentinel? What is that? Are you telling me you've forgotten? It just happened the other day, right here. Uh, what happened? You mean the gas explosion? I heard about it, but 
That wasn't a gas explosion. It was you. You transmitted your sentinel right over there. Transmitted? You talking about movies? I think I saw that one. Oh, yeah. Now that you mention it. That did happen in one of the tapes you let me borrow. And Jurokun. Who are you talking to? This is one of my classmates. His name is Kyutashiba. <sighs> Where is he? What? Shibakun? He's right next to us. Sorry, but it's just you and me here. <laughs> Come on, Mirakun. Wait. I think this has happened before. <sighs> So, did you check out that video I lent you? Yep. Watched the whole thing. I forgot to bring the tape back, though. No rush, man. But you gotta tell me what you thought. Well, in the end, the criminal took over the main guy's body. So, I guess he ended up becoming a criminal himself. Not sure how to feel about it. I think it's pretty controversial. Oh, yeah? I thought the ending was awesome. Hey, um... Why do you keep talking to yourself? Is everything okay? I was talking to Shiba-kun. Shiba? Who the heck is that? You know, Kyuta Shiba. Our classmate? There's no one with that name in our class. Huh? Hmm... Hey, Karabi-kun? I know. The papers, right? I'll get them later. Listen. kisaragi sans acting strange. She's saying there's no one named Shiba-kun in our class. Shiba? Um... Who? He's standing right there. Um... Karabi-kun... There's no one named Shiba here. <laughs> Are you okay? Say something, Shiba-kun. They're being so mean. Is this some kind of prank? Or are you talking to ghosts? Either way, it's not funny. Me? A ghost? These girls need a better sense of humor. Let's go. Shiba-kun. What's your deal? Let's get going already. Hey, um... We grew up together, right? Well, yeah. We've been best buds since grade school. What's gotten into you? Something's just not right. It's odd. When I think about grade school, I don't remember him at all. I can't remember any times in middle school either. <sighs> Shibakun? You said you've been with me all this time, but... I can't seem to remember the details. I don't have any memories of our time together. Why do you think that is? <sighs> I should have known you'd figure it out. What do you mean? Guess I overdid it with the mind hacking lately. <clears throat> Let's not overthink this, okay? Here, take this tape with you. It's your next set of memories. Go home and... Watch it carefully. <sighs> okay. Wait! Calm down. I remember now. He's... Shibakun is... 
I'm the only one who can see him. Well, I can't be letting anyone else in on our little secret. I gotta get my shit together. When I'm not careful, I blow my cover. Who are you? Artificial personality, 48Q. Codename QTA CBA. In other words, Qta Shiba. I know, it's a bit of a stretch. But I had to come up with something that suited you. You get along well with this kind of guy, right? Qta? There's no use running. It's too late for that. I've already filled your head with transplanted memories. They're running all around in there, aren't they? Oh, but don't worry. Leave things to me and you'll be just fine. Transplanted memories? Yep. Mine. Calm yourself. There's no one here. But he's right there in front of me. You would have been better off not knowing any of this. What a shame. So those movies were... Shiba-kun's memories. Shiba's? No. My real name is Juro Izumi. You're not gonna remember this anyway. So chill out. Unless you want to look like a crazy person. All right, my friend. I've got a new video for you. Just forget about the world for a bit. And watch this. You're gonna love it. It'll wipe your mind clean as a whistle. No. Stop! Chiro-kun!